Hello guys, welcome back to Laptop Media, I'm Venom and today we're going to take a look at the GTX 1060. This is the ASUS Trix model and it looks pretty decent. It has 3 open styled fans, a very nice backplate and of course RGB lightning. Yeah, it's 2017 and now every PC product looks more like a Christmas tree than an actual component for your computer. It also has 2 display ports, 2 HDMI's and as well a DVI port. And before we even start with the benchmarks, I just want to point out something important. This GPU is very big. It is almost 30 centimeters long. That's what she said, but seriously, if you want to buy this version of the GTX 1060, you better go get a ruler and try to measure if it will actually fit in your case. You can also get the mini version, which is with 3GB memory, but the model we're looking at today is the better 1060 with 6GB of VRAM. It also has 1280 CUDA cores and 192 bit memory interface. But hey, I guess you didn't come here just to watch a rant about RGBs and lengths. Of course we made some benchmarks and today we're going to pair the 1060 with an i5 6400 and 16GB of RAM. Here, take a look at our results. As you can see, it runs everything at 1080p like a complete beast, and even GTA 5 and Rise of the Tomb Raider with maximum anti-aliasing, advanced graphics and pretty much every setting you can crank up to maximum. This GPU handles that at above 38 FPS, and yes, I know, most of you won't be playing with maximum anti-aliasing, but I thought it would be interesting to see this GPU's capabilities. This particular version is pretty cool. Literally, I haven't seen the temperatures rise above 60-ish degrees Celsius. And yes, it has RGB lightning enough ports to plug in uh, multiple monitors, maybe 4 or 5. But the important thing is that it handles the games perfectly. I don't believe that there's a game out there that running at 1080p will put this GPU to its knees. After all these cool features and amazing benchmarks, why shouldn't you just buy the GTX 1060? And the answer to that is the RX 480. After the updates that AMD did, they basically made the RX 480 go head to head with the 1060. And my advice is to take the fanboy decision. If you're in Team Red, well, buy the RX 480. And if you're in Team Green, just buy the 1060. But now you're thinking, that's not a very professional advice, is it? Yes, it is not, but both cards have similar performance in games and depending on where you live, one of them could be quite more expensive. And if you're a cheap guy like me, just go with the cheaper one, what could possibly go wrong? That's about it guys, basically I didn't give you any useful opinion on the graphics card, but I think the 1060 is so amazing that you just have to buy it to have the awesome experience that I personally had with it and make your own opinion. And trust me, if you choose to buy it, you definitely won't regret that decision. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to Laptop Media, see you next time!